Hello everyone, welcome to my channel uh, ASP.NET Core and today I am going, uh, going to show you how to fix that type of error. Actually, uh, when I run my uh, new uh, newly created project, then uh, after a long time, so just got a error um, on in your console window, uh, but the project uh, remained run. Uh, fail Microsoft dot entity framework code dot database dot command um, 20102 error and also uh, with the database update command will be failed so how to resolve this uh, things so first of all remove the migration folder uh, first of all stop debugging and remove migration folder completely and also uh, remove the migrations from the database that there is a history uh, will be created okay so just uh, preview database update and uh, just removed it wait for some times okay click on the update database and button and after that just open your migration uh, open your uh, pm any package uh, i mean to say that package manager console and run uh, restart your visual studio again and after that uh, first of all drop your database by using package manager console so just uh, open tools and uh, open package manager console here is and uh, you can see your project and just after that in the tools menu open new get package manager and uh, package manager console and in the PM you have to add a single simple command drop dash database and after that uh, your database will be dropped and again you have to add migrations or oh, yes to all just I want to uh, remove yes to all uh, dropping database so just press a uh, successfully dropped the database online voting system and after that PM add migration that is in it and and after that you have to apply um, update database command and your problem will be resolved easily by using this so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and keep watching all other videos so just uh, run your visus, uh, run your project in Visual Studio again and you will see um, like that and just click on the login button and oops admin and the passcode is this you uh, invalid login attempt I mean to say that uh, uh, okay cannot sign in the without confirmed account so just uh, change the true prop uh, false property confirmation account in the database table but uh, a user um, have uh, or you can say that just remove that properties easily so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all others